can't solve current problems using old technologies. That's the single most important thing, getting people to understand the seriousness of the issues facing our planet. The amount of arable land, of farmable land, on the face of the earth has not changed in more than half a century. Biotechnology and the promise of science and a political will all need to come together with a lot of good hard work to build roads and to do smart things if we're going to feed nine billion people in not very many years from now. Biotech is going to be absolutely critical. I've been a little bit involved with single patricus on the golden rice. This is something where you could directly address vitamin C deficiency and save hundreds of thousands of children's lives every year. The questions we should be asking are not how are we going to feed the world, but how are we going to remove the obstacles to what we know works. We are going to be getting to these audience questions that have come in via our Twitter stream, emails, YouTube questions, and of course our live audience as well. In last check, we had more than 30,000 people joining as part of this Twitter feed, and uh, it's uh, racing on ahead here. It's so powerful and has so much potential for making mankind more secure on this planet. What we haven't done is shown people how different the modern biotechnology can make farming. If we're going to really solve the problem of providing food, feed, fiber, flowers, and energy for all, everybody's got to be involved. The solutions are in our hands. We need to use them.